Also, if you are new to this channel, click that subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you click the notification bell. Uh, catch us on the night train when we go live at night. Uh, make sure you don't miss any of this uh, good content. Greetings. I hope you're doing great. Wherever you are, whenever you are watching this video. Lumper, lumper, lumper. Let's talk lumper. Lumper receipts. What is lumper? Um, whenever you check in at a shipper or a receiver, um, you might hear that you need to provide a lumper fee. Lumper is, to make it quick, um, people who don't work with the distribution center, uh, factory, grocery store, wherever you go to pick up or unload, they do not work directly with that is establishment right so they provide a loading or an unloading service and they charge a fee um now hirschback have a system a fast payment system for these people um you could get a relay code you could get a come data come check or you could get a efs check if you use the efs right what is the relay code and how it works whenever you go to the shipper or the receiver once you request a relay code from dispatch, the Hirschback system, it will determine whether or not this shipper or receiver is in that program where you can use the relay code. If they are, dispatch will send you a six digit relay code. If they are not, then they will send you an authorization code which you can use for a come check or an EFS check. Uh, Let's see. So this is like for the EFS check, if you use an EFS. Uh, this is for the come check. If you use a uh, come data card, right? Um, you can pay in person using the relay code. All you have to do when you get to the shipper or receiver is let them know, hey, I am paying with a relay code. Um, you're going to provide that six digit relay code, boom the payment process that gets rolling and a receipt is sent back to Hirschback. You could pay using a mobile device, especially Capstone. Um, Capstone is one of them that I see a lot out here. Um, they will send you a text. You will fill in that relay code in the info. First, you got to select that you're paying with a relay code. Um, put that information in, payment process gets rolling, boom. The receipt is sent to Hirschback directly. When, directly. Whenever you use a relay code, the receipt is sent to Hirschback directly. Now, if you're using a come data come check, or you're using the EFS uh, that EFS check, you have to scan in a copy of your receipt with your bills of ladle, with your trip sheet. Hey, if you have a motel receipt, if you stayed at a motel during that um whole pick up or drop off this is when you're going to scan in a copy of that receipt um, you do not want to um, scan in everything and don't send in that receipt because whenever you get the funds to pay for the lumper via a come data check or an EFS check it comes across kind of like a advance so if you do not scan in a copy of that receipt then the funds will be deducted from your salary now later on you could go in and provide proof that you did not use this funds for personal purpose and all that stuff but you don't want to go through that you know what i mean you want to make sure that transition is smooth so remember whenever you use a um relay code the receipt is sent directly to hirschback that system is really fast whenever you use a come check or a EFS check to pay for these lumper well you have to scan in a copy of your receipt um, very important if you request a relay code from dispatch and it's not a six digit or the number that you get along with that information it does not say relay code chances are it is not a relay code it could be that they mistakenly send you an authorization code for a, a comp check or an EFS check. 
you got to look at this thing. Make sure you call uh, dispatch and let them know. Um, you're going to have some problems too if you select, when you're using the mobile device, or even if you're paying in person. Whenever you said you're using a relay code, well, something is not going to add up because the relay code is six digits. Um, the authorization code is usually, if I remember, somewhere about 12 digits. It's a lot longer, right? So that's something to look out for. I just want to help you with this information. Uh, usually when I'm training students, uh, sometimes you might go to a shipper or a receiver and you, you do not need a lumper. During the whole process of the training, especially if that student learns very fast. So I decided to provide this information to help you, you know, wherever you are, whenever you are watching this video. Also, if you are new to this channel, click that subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you click the notification bell. Uh, catch us on the night train when we go live at night. Uh, make sure you don't miss any of this uh, good content. Um, as I always say, not going to keep you too long. I hope you're doing great wherever you are, whenever you are watching this video. Stay safe. See you soon. Peace.